seen these before? They are both clocks. This is an analog clock. And this is a digital clock. They look quite different to each other, but they both keep track of time. Let's learn more about analog clocks. Analog clocks have a round face with numbers around it. The numbers start at 1 and continue all the way up until 12. They also have hands. No, not those kind of hands. The hands on an analog clock are the long parts that point to the numbers around the face to show us the time. There are two hands on every analog clock that you will see. The short hand is called the hour hand and the long hand is called the minute hand. Both hands move in this direction. We call this direction clockwise and it shows us the passing of time. Let's learn about reading the time to o'clock on an analog clock. O'clock tells us that the time is on the hour. We know the time is o'clock when the minute hand, which is the long hand, points straight up at the 12. The hour hand, which is the smaller hand, points at the number of the hour. Let's see if we can tell the time together on this analog clock. We know it's o'clock because the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12. Where is the hour hand pointing? The hour hand is pointing at the number 3. This tells us that it's 3 o'clock. Do you think you can read the time on the next clock? Let's give it a go. Where is the minute hand pointing? Exactly! The minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12 again. So it's another o'clock time. But where is the hour hand pointing? It's pointing to the number 8. So, what's the time? It's 8 o'clock. Now you know more about the features of analog clocks and telling the time to o'clock. Is it an o'clock time where you are now? <laughs>